start of this video, I'm hiding in the shade. Now we were down in Playa Flamenco the other evening at Feta Nera, probably pronounced that wrong, but we went down to actually see Andy at the Lansdowne. A big shout out to Andy at the Lansdowne, fantastic pub. We actually are going to be down in the Lansdowne one Saturday evening, quite shortly, uh, because there is a band that we would like to see. Uh, it's a really, really young band, and we meant that by age, not the time that they've been together, well, probably the time they've been together also. But we did go into Feta Nera. We had an absolutely fantastic starter of antipasti it was absolutely amazing and hats off to the staff at Fetanera because they did say that they were kind of fully booked and they kind of thought we'll squeeze you in at a table round the back if that's not an issue and it's not it wasn't it was absolutely fantastic to just be able to go in and get a meal and then we had steak and oh my god if you're looking for a steak in the Playa Flamenca Centre. Now, initially, we were going to go down and we're going to go to the Longhorn. We're going to go to the Longhorn because the Longhorn also has fantastic steak. And the Longhorn is on the top tier of the Playa Flamenca Centre. And if you are looking for a fantastic steak, go there first and then go to Fetanera. It was absolutely brilliant. It is an Italian restaurant. Um, the steak was absolutely to die for. It was one of the best steaks, if not the best steak, that we have probably had here in Spain. And guess what? It was down in the player Flamenca Centre. So... That being said, let's take a walk around and play a flamenca this morning. I have been down here working. Let's go. People go on about up and coming area of Torreveca. If you want to talk about an up and coming area, and the first properties that were built here were over 20 years ago for a development point of view. Playa Flamenca is one of those places that is absolutely booming. Now people will say, yeah, but it's quiet during the day. It's because everyone's at the beach. Everyone's generally at the beach during the day. And that's why you come to places like Playa Flamenca. You don't come for it, for the craziness that you get buried on. You come to Playa Flamenca for the chilled out lifestyle. You are down at Playa Flamenca. Darby's is an absolutely fantastic bar. Jennifer Cunningham Insurance, they're brilliant insurance. We've been with them since we moved here. Nearly five years ago now, we are coming up for our fifth year anniversary. And I've got to say, there's probably more apartments for sale. There's one for a rent. But that's the most apartments I've seen for sale in this area for a long time. Now, what are the benefits of staying down in Playa Flamenca? And, and this is not me suggesting that we're about to jump ship and move down here, as we, as we might have alluded to. That is way, way off the mark. And um, we enjoy where we stay. <laughs> but Playa Flamenca, this is all about relaxation and chilled out. And as you look over to Punta Prima, over in the distance, over there, you can see all the new apartments that have been built. When we first moved here, those apartments didn't exist. Five years ago, those apartments there did not exist. Those apartments aren't cheap. Those apartments are on the region of over 250,000 euros. They are not 300,000 and above for some of the ones at the front. Now, Flair Flamenca does have the downside of not having any Chiringuitos this year. Let's have a look at the beach where there usually was one, but there isn't this year. Before we look at the beach, it is a red flag day, so that is a warning, and there is a nice yacht heading over towards where the nudist beach is. <laughs> and then there's lots of other yachts in the water. I've got to say, that one over there in the middle, it's probably over a hundred grand's worth. Over a hundred grand's worth of boat. And then there is the beach that has been a letdown for the last couple of years. Orwella Council, 
They have got a disabled access bit in, but there's no other facilities. I think they may have the water fountain there, but it's not switched on. But the beach is a bit of a letdown again this year. They haven't sorted it out at all, which is devastating. And then there's people walking up over to the dog beach. Now I remember, five years ago now. Yep, five years ago when we had the dog beach to ourselves every single day. It was fantastic. It was a funny old time to move to Spain. It was a funny old time to move to Playa Flamenca specifically because, I mean, it may be quiet this morning. It is early in the morning. I am down, I have been down doing some work down in Playa Flamenca. It 20 is minutes right. past 11 in the morning, just now, a bit later than, remember the Zumba guys that used to be here? Do they still do that? It was fantastic. But anyway, it was back in 2020 when we moved to Playa Flamenca and to say a lot has changed, well, it has, because there's a lot of fantastic new buildings. And is Playa Flamenca a fantastic place to stay? Yes, it is. It is a nice chilled out resort. Completely different from the likes of Benidorm and completely different from the likes of Torre Vieca. Now, people do talk about the fact, I mean, I've heard a lot of stage and say that Torre Vieca is an up and coming area. Even 20 years on, Playa Flamenca is still up and coming. The amount of new properties, and especially just over the back of me there, there's going to be something like 3,000 new properties. That's crazy. We do have this beach also. And I haven't sorted the barriers out here. This is a bit of a disappointment because they've been like that for a long time. It looks like they may have sorted them, but they've not, you know, they haven't sorted them yet, as yet. So it is 20 past 11, it's about 25 past 11 in the morning. The beach is looking good. Today is the what the 24th? 24th of July. It's not crazy season as yet. A few white bodies, a few extremely white bodies, and a few extremely tanned bodies. But this is a fantastic beach. And does it have the chair and gate open yet? That is the most important question that you will want answered in this video. Now if you do have over half a million pounds to spend, you can get properties like these down here. Properties looking onto the beach. And yes, it's quiet in the winter, but you know, sometimes quiet in the winter is good, it's real good. But Cheringuitos, that is the question. Now the good thing is, is this beach has all been sorted out. You won't be expecting much more rain. So they have got all the sand there to make it look nice. So hopefully the Orwella Council will be getting their finger out and we'll be making sure that the other beach is looking all nice. And as you can see, they do have the lifeguard also, and as well as the lifeguard, and lots of people on the beach. Now, do they have the chair and ketos? No, they don't. They are currently working on the toilets. They do have the first aid place and they're fixing the doors on the toilets for the area. They do have the space for wheelchair users, mobility access space. And I've got to say, I love it down here. They're looking for a beach that is a little bit quieter. This is the one. Interesting. The beach just the other side of this area was a red flag. But this beach is a green flag. And there is only really a little outcrop of rock between them. So it just shows the difference. So just the space of over a 100 metres or so that they do have the green flag out on this one. Yet the one next door is the red flag. Maybe it's to do with the state of the beach. Anyway, let's have one little last look at everyone on the beach. The best part of the beach, actually, if you want a nice chilled out bit, is the bit right over where the red rocks are, way over there. You get over there and you get the sun all day long, a little bit of wind. But if you want the sun till later on in the night, if you hit this part of the beach here, this gets the sun till later on. So really the purpose of this video is the fact that we were asked, would you recommend Playa Flamenca for someone buying a holiday home? Yes, for definite, for definite. If you can get anywhere down, near as close to the sea as possible you're going to have a holiday home in a fantastic location you've got lots of nice life play a flamenca center 
absolutely mobbed. Head along towards Paddy's Point, and along that way, lots of bars there. And then as you go further inland, there is a lot of other little commercial centres with lots of bars, if that's your thing. Maybe you just want to go out for a good meal. In that case, you go to the lobster restaurant down here. Well, this yard down here. Pop into Bodega 75. Pop in, pop in, pop, 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 even. <laughs> I'm not cut that out. Pop, pop into Bodega 75, which is a fantastic little wine shop. It's another plot of land for sale. If you want to buy a plot of land and build your own house. Which happens a lot down here. You do get a lot of down in this area is people buying old Spanish properties and then completely demolishing the building. Like was what has happened here. For me, this was a fantastic old building. It was a fantastic old typical Spanish type building. But you can understand that some people want to build a brand new modern type house on the plot of land, or maybe even one or two. And it's good to see that this one's all been done up as well, because that was a bit of a mess for a few years. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. We're on 12,376. We're trying to get it to 13,000 and beyond. So subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and share it with anyone that's thinking about buying a property in Playa Flamenco because it's a fantastic place for a holiday home. And on that note, my work here is done for the morning. It's time to head to back inland to roast myself to death, get some lunch. It's too early for lunch and it's too late for breakfast. Anyway, hasta luego.